investigation by a global safety company found a safety hazard that had the potential of endangering the lives of hundreds of workers right here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks joins us now with more on where these garments came from and who could be wearing them. Stephen? Yeah, good evening, Jackie. Workers wear covers like this to protect from flame or explosions. This flame retardant material can actually self-extinguish. Now, if you look here at the label, it shows the UL the safety mark showing that it's passed safety inspections. Now, in the case of Zimpex Incorporated, there was a bogus mark that was put on their coveralls. Earlier today, Underwriters Laboratories, or UL, placed the Bakersfield company Zimpex Incorporated on public notice for having counterfeit UL certification marks on flame-resistant garments. Their certification mark can be found on everything from computers to cell phone chargers. Rebecca Chu from Zimpex said she got the gear from a Chinese company and thought they were safe. I put an oven, 500 degree, half hour, no burn, nothing. The quality is good. She said the company she bought the gear from was trying to meet UL standards for the first time and having failed to get approval, they made their own labels with the UL mark without her knowledge. UL took notice after they were tipped off to the spelling error of the word flame on one of Zimpex's labels. As for who might have bought these, Rebecca says she only sold garments to Sturgeon Services, a company that provides construction and maintenance services for oil fields. We bought them, but then when they came in, the UL uh, looked, di uh, it, it didn't look like UL and the, and the misspelling on the fire retardant, so consequently we haven't distributed them yet until we found out from UL that they were in fact uh, certified. We asked Powell what previous business he had with Zimpex. Rebecca, is uh, is my girlfriend. He bought 17 pallets, or somewhere between five and six thousand coveralls, that are currently sitting in a warehouse. He plans to send them wherever UL or any other entity directs him. As for Chu, she says she plans to continue her business. I will try and make it bigger, you know, just a little bit try beginning. This time, paying a little more attention to some of the safety standards. I now realize it's very important, you know. At the beginning, probably I don't I don't know too much. But they just ship into me. I didn't check carefully. Now, while it's important to have the valid UL mark as a seller, Chu has to be a licensed UL distributor, something today she told us she's in the process of becoming. Tim, back to you. All right, Steve.